I'd been to Vietnam for CBS News during the war, and I went back to Vietnam with the woman in my life, and we went twice. And I really began to believe in mysticism because on the way over it was one of those uh, high-end cruises and uh, we got free passage if I tell a few war stories and show some video from the Vietnam War. We were going to Southeast Asia. And, and I did. And the first time when we got back with about five, six, seven days I, on Facebook, uh, the uh, pilot of a medevac that I had flown with in Vietnam did a story about uh, got in touch with me and I said this is amazing Bob I uh, I was just in Vietnam I showed the piece that you know you were you starred in that was on the Cronkite News and that's that's amazing that you'd call and, and I said you know I've always wondered where you guys are and one of these days I want to do a documentary he said fine oh, that's great Mary and I went back 11 months later, and it was the same good deal. I'd speak, show a few pieces uh, from the CBS uh, archives, and, uh, and we'd get free passage, and I showed, once again, one of my better pieces, uh, flying with medevacs, rescuing soldiers, wounded soldiers. And I came back, and this time, another pilot got in touch with me. I mean, it was, it was amazing. And uh, I, I said to him too, I, I said, you know, I really want to do a documentary. And uh, I haven't thought it out, but uh, I, I want to know where you guys are. And, and uh, he, he said, well, I think that would be great. And I said, fine. And I, I called the camera guy, Greg Cook, who was with me in Vietnam on that story with the medevacs. And, and he said, well, yeah, maybe, you know, see what you can come up with. So um, I started out uh, looking for the crew, and I found the crew easily. And I had to convince Greg that this was a good thing to do, Greg. And he was doing all sorts of other things out in Hollywood and on the West Coast. And I said, no, we have to do the story. We'll, we'll do it on our own dime. <clears throat> and if we sell it, we'll sell it. If not, it won't matter. And... Uh, we spent uh, a day with, with the pilot, with Bob Brady, and on the way back from that, we were heading to LA, I said, Craig, I don't know, I must be stupid. I haven't even thought about finding the wounded guys that they rescued for that piece we did that ran on the Cronkite News. So I set about, it took months to find the wounded guys. And uh, it, is, it has turned into a wonderful documentary that's been on a, uh, quite a number of the PBS stations called American Medevac. And um, the best part about it is it's been good for the guys. It, it really has told America what they were all about. And, and somebody was asking me the other day uh, at a Veterans Day event I was asked to speak at. And uh, I said, well, there were two main reasons why I wanted to do the documentary. One, I've been to any number of places and covered Americans in troubled parts of the world, but uh, the medevac crew and that rescue has always been in my head and in my heart. And uh, one of the reasons why was that it was like an American uh, an American ideal uh, that was right before me. And by that I mean when the call came in from the battlefield that there were wounded out there, none of the medevac guys said, oh, well, what color is he? Uh, is, does he have a political affiliation? What party does he vote in? Where does the parents come from? Where did his parents come from? Uh, what, uh, well, if he's religious, where does he pray? I mean, that didn't matter. They just went out there to rescue them. And they went out there because a fellow American was in trouble. And even though more often than not, as was true when, when we flew with them, uh, they would take fire. But it was just, a, it just struck me, it's what 
a lot of America is really about, you know, when somebody's in trouble, we go to help. And another thing about it was that I wanted, with, with all the negative stuff that's been out there about Vietnam vets, I thought it would be good to do a story about stating that there were heroes wearing the American uniform in Vietnam. And those medevac guys were it. <laughs>